was a tight finish in the general election just two weeks ago, but today's mayoral runoff turned into a runaway for John Tecklenburg. Tecklenburg received 58% of the vote tonight to beat Leon Stavernakis, who received 42% of the vote. John Tecklenburg wins the race to replace Mayor Joe Riley, who was first elected back in 1975 and is retiring after four decades in office. We have live team coverage of tonight's historic runoff election news twos. Macy McLeod was with Leon Stavernakis and his supporters in downtown Charleston. But we want to begin with news twos Ashley Yost, who spent the evening with the winner, John Tecklenburg, at the Charleston Marriott. Ashley, this is really the end of a long, sometimes contentious campaign. Yes, and they actually just killed the lights in the room. The party at the Marriott is winding down for Mayor-elect John Tecklenburg. We had a chance to catch up with him earlier this evening, and here's what he had to say. We just want to ask you, so what are your first items of business once you get into office? Well, the first item of business tonight is just to say thank you to God above and to the voters of Charleston. I'm really looking forward to this incredible opportunity that they've given me to serve this city. I'm really, I'm just thrilled. What about once you're sworn in? Anything that is first on the table, first on your list to address? Well, we'll be getting a transition team together. And uh, Mayor Riley, I spoke with him tonight, and I'll be working closely with him. We're going to have a real smooth transition. And I also want to say I'm, I'm thankful to Representative Leon Stavanakis for a good race, and I'm really looking forward to working with him for things that help our community in the future as well. Absolutely. What are your thoughts on the campaign that y'all ran? Well, I think we kept it positive, and I think that was well received. We talked about issues and specifics and just kept a positive uh, beat the whole way through, and I, I, I think that's the way to go. Every time I've run into you, you've had a huge smile across your face. Well, I'm, um, my glass isn't half full. It's overflowing because I'm so optimistic about our future. Last question. Will you be the mayor for 40 years? No. <laughs> That's an easy one. <laughs> That's an easy one? How come? Uh, you won't have to put up with me for that long. We will have that interview as well as the whole victory speech that Mayor-elect John Tecklenburg gave tonight at the party up on our website, counton2.com. So make sure to head there for all of the election coverage from tonight. Live right now at the Marriott on Lockwood at Mayor-elect John Tecklenburg's party. I'm Ashley Yost, News 2. All right, Ashley, thank you. And as we can see, some people still milling about there where Ashley is at the Charleston Marriott. Meanwhile, we are going to news to Macy McLeod, who is at the location where Leon Stavronakis and his supporters were a little bit earlier there tonight. Certainly a very difference in mood. Yeah, he conceded hours ago that party long since over, right, Macy? That's right. It is actually closed up here. You can see it's dark inside the building behind me. Everyone has gone home. And as you know, the votes are in and Leon Stavronakis is not the next mayor of Charleston. Now Stavronakis gave his gave his concession speech around nine o'clock tonight. And he said he called John Tecklenburg on the phone to congratulate him for becoming Charleston's new mayor. One thing Stavronak has emphasized in his concession was the loss of Mayor Joe Riley as a leader in Charleston. Stavronak has called Riley one of the greatest leaders in America and urged the community to come together behind John Tecklenburg. I need all of you to join me in saying that tomorrow morning the race is over and that it's all about Charleston, the work to do to deal with traffic, to deal with our schools, to deal with our future. And so I need all of you to help me work with our new mayor again to make Charleston the very, very best place that it can be moving forward. And Stavronakis says he is still a state representative for the Low Country and he is honored to continue serving the community in that capacity. Live in downtown Charleston, Macy McLeod, News 2. All right, Macy, thank you. Outgoing Mayor Joe Riley, still mayor for a few more weeks, visited both candidates today and thanked them for running good campaigns. And he said, quote, the community was fortunate to have two fine candidates, and I look forward to working with John. He will be an excellent mayor, and I look forward to working with him in this transition period. Tonight is their night. 
Well, tonight, News 2 was in North Charleston as the election results poured into Charleston County Election Headquarters. Yeah, News 2's Al Matt Alba was there. Joins us live in the studio. Matt, we're talking less than 20% voter turnout, but that was somewhat expected, wasn't it? Yeah, good evening, guys. Well, the turnout was pretty poor. Only 19% of registered voters in Charleston County voted today. The chair of the Charleston County Board of Elections and Voter Registration also told me the turnout was about 6% less today than it was two weeks ago. Polls opened this uh, morning at 7 a.m., and officials say they expected less people than November 3rd. They said many people don't come out for the runoffs because not all of the candidates are on the ballot this time around. Now, 96 precincts were open in the city and 44 precincts were open in Mount Pleasant. Because not all precincts were open countywide, the election results came in quickly this evening. Election organizers told me while they would have liked to see a better voter turnout, this kind of is what they expected. How was the turnout today? The turnout was about 19% uh, countywide. Uh, it's, it's down from... Uh, Two weeks ago, on, on the third, we had about 25% countywide, um, uh, but we understand that a runoff is less people come out for a runoff. Uh, in 2011, it was about 19% uh, during that time frame also, so it's, it's about what we average uh, during a runoff. Election planners tell me the confirmed provisional ballots and fail-safe provisional ballots for Mount Pleasant will be announced Thursday morning at 9 a.m. and the city of Charleston's provisional ballots at 10 a.m. Live in the studio, Matt Alba for News 2. Thank you, Matt. There were two runoffs for Charleston City Council tonight. In District 1, incumbent Gary White narrowly defeated Sean Pinkston with 52% of the vote. And in District 3, incumbent James Lewis defeated Jimmy Bailey with 54% of the vote to Bailey's 46%. Voters in Mount Pleasant went to the polls also to settle the town council race. Two seats were up for grabs. Yeah, Will Haney and Jim Owens easily won tonight with just over three quarters of the votes between them. They joined Bob Brimmer and Joe Bustos, who won two, uh, the seats two weeks ago. Incumbent Chris O'Neill, a distant third.